So LEGO revealed the Mario Kart 2025 sets at Gamescom today. This is kind of crazy. Like LEGO Mario Kart after all these years. But once again, it's in the course building system. There's a big change this time around though. Now figures in the course building system from Mario Kart are using minifigure parts. Specifically minifigure arms. And that's it. This is so frustrating. Just give us minifigures. I know I've been complaining about this for years, but they're literally the most recognizable figure from LEGO. All these other licenses get minifigure sets as well as other types of sets. All you have to do is give us minifigure sets for Mario. And you could also give us other types of sets like the course building system still, like the D2C sets. This course building system is very tiring it's outside of the style of, say, minifigure stuff, and I don't really care for these blocky head builds and everything. But let's see if these sets are any good. We, we got the Yoshi bike at 15 bucks, which is a 133 piece set. And this does have a design that is actually kind of cute. This is probably my favorite of the bunch. Light blue is also a new Yoshi color, but dang it, do purple already. I want them to do purple Yoshi, but to be fair, you can't play as one in Mario Kart. I do think Yoshi is a figure that might be a little bit harder to translate into a minifigure. So I guess the blocky version doesn't put me off as much. The design of the bike is actually pretty excellent. I love the sizing there. I love the designs at the side, which have those little Yoshi eggs. And I also like what seemingly is a new system for launching turtle shells. Yeah, these carts have a Koopa launching feature and it seems like it incorporates either one of the newer stud shooter-esque designs or just a completely new one and some cool shell pieces. There's two types of shells, which is pretty cool, where we got the green shell and the red shell. And we also have a banana, which I love seeing that banana piece used with a new print. And that's of course something that looks like the bananas from Mario Kart. And also we got item boxes, which don't look like the item boxes from Mario Kart. However, this seems to also interact with the Lego electronic figures, you know, the three Peach, Luigi, and Mario. So it seems like to maybe get the item from there or get the full play feature of the set, you gotta have one of the electronic figures. Then there's a $20, 174-piece standard cart set. This is a good interpretation of that cart in Lego form. Of course, it's fit for the Lego Mario electronic figure, which I would have preferred if this was minifigure scale and everything. So I don't really have any interest in this set personally. Notice how the cart also has some interesting wheels going on there. And you get a better look at the new shell shooter where it has a little trigger at the back. Again, red and green shell in this set. There's also an exclusive toad variant. You'll notice there's a lot of toads in this line and we'll get to why later. The design of the outfit is cool, but like, when does Mario Kart have pit crews? Well, apparently there are some, it's more so in Mario Kart Tour. We have Donkey Kong and DK Jumbo. I do like seeing that cart in this styling. Like, honestly, that looks pretty darn cool. Donkey Kong is a figure I'm less like, okay, why didn't they do a minifigure? Because, okay, that makes sense that he would be kind of like a bigger brick built figure. A big fig for minifigures, of course, but it's not the most egregious example of them not doing a minifigure for the character is what I'm trying to say. You do get another banana, which is nice. Uh, this is a $35 set and has 387 pieces. This is, of course, our second appearance of Donkey Kong, which I'm sure the bottom legs are probably modified. Uh, it does seem like maybe we have a different type maybe shorter little tie right there, but I'm probably wrong. And I'm happy people have the cheaper way to get DK because his original set was so overpriced. Then we have Baby Mario vs. Baby Luigi, which is a $30 set with 321 pieces. I mean, here's our look at Baby Mario and Baby Luigi in Lego form. It seems like both use a new cap piece and it's the same cap piece, which I guess kind of works and it's a cost saving measure. The design of both of them translates pretty decently into the buildable figure form. They have their big heads, but of course, like I said, I'd rather have these be mini figures, yada yada. The design of the carts, I actually really like how they interpreted those. And these are designs that are almost like Mighty Micros and are perfectly fit for mini figures. So there is that. Again, more of those new wheel pieces and the design has lots of prints on both of those. So at least there's a lot of neat here. I don't really get the balloon battle design, 
Like, that does not look like the balloons of Balloon Battle. Come on. I love Balloon Battle, though. Toad's Garage, which is a $40 set for 390 pieces, is a complete made-up thing. There's no Toad's Garage. This looks like nothing from the games. This doesn't even look like the garage from the Mario movie, from my understanding. Regardless, we do have the B-Dasher cart, which, okay. I like seeing that there. Mario Kart DS is my baby. I like this print right here, and at least they're different Toads from the smaller sets. Then we got Baby Peach in the Grand Prix. This design right here doesn't really represent any courses I remember from the games. One thing that's really missing from this Mario Kart line is, well, courses. Like, yeah, we're focused heavily on the carts and stuff. Courses are where my babies are at, but I get it, I get it. You can't make these large courses. This would have been the set to do that, but by making a large course, it might have isolated people with the $80 price being anything more than that. So at $80, this does feel not as substantial. If you're a price for piece ratio person, you'll be like, well, it's 823 pieces at least. I like the Lakitu build, that's really cool. Baby Peach, I know they were trying to do the head thing, looks weird with the big head in my opinion in this form. I do like her Wiggler cart right there. And then for Lemmy and a Toad, I mean, again, another Toad. I get why they're doing it though. You see, first off, the minifigure arms are so that minifigures can hold on to like the little handlebars on the bikes. This doesn't really extend to say the actual steering wheels on carts. So you think, okay, so they're using Toads as the racers and stuff, but they only have this one Toad because yeah, in the games you got Toadette and Toad as racers, but not really other Toads. Maybe Toadsworth, yeah, Toadsworth, I forgot, Double Dash. So now you just kind of have these Toad Pit Crew members and Toads Garage members and stuff like that. And it's just like, okay, wait, why are we having so much Toads in here? Maybe the Pit Crew members should have been like a Koopa Trooper or something, but I guess they're not good, so there's that. And when you look at the generic Mario stuff, the good people are usually, well, Mario, Peach, Luigi. They don't acknowledge Daisy in the world of Lego, and so we're left with Toads. Toads, 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 Toads. I'm being super critical. These are going to be awesome for a lot of people, and I'm glad that these will be awesome. Now I do hear the consumerist in me who used to collect everything, who used to buy all the sets, who sees this image of all the sets together, and is just like, I must get them all. But guess what? I'm not going to feed that addiction. I do not want to buy any of these, even though I want this little Yoshi set. I mean, Lego will probably send them to me. But even if they didn't, I wouldn't get them. Personally, I'm just so disappointed with the trajectory of this theme. I thought it would be something so much more, but it was something so much less. So let me know what you think of all these sets. Uh, subscribe here for more negative Lego takes. Now check out the last Lego Nintendo video, which I uploaded earlier today. That was entirely positive, and I love those new Animal Crossing sets. I'll see you later. Peace out. Bye.